where freedom is history. In a world without gas. In a world that's powered by violence. These days, people get just as excited for a movie trailer as they do the actual movie. I brought uh, a clip, uh, like a, a preview. Uh, oh, this really? will be like a... <laughs> Trailers can make or break a film, and they even have their own award show. They almost become their own entertainment form. That's Matt Brubaker, CEO of Trailer Park in LA. His company is responsible for some of the biggest film trailers in the past few years, including Wonder Woman, <laughs> Baby Driver, I'm a driver, and Mad Max, which won a Golden Trailer Award for Best Original Trailer. So what goes into an award-winning trailer? Oftentimes, their trailers are started while filming is, is being done. The entire process can take anywhere from two weeks to two years. The earlier, the better so they can be ready for hyped up events like Comic-Con. So when we start a trailer, we get the direction call from the studio. Then we have a creative meeting internally. There's 10 to 15 people I've working on, on one project. This includes editors, assistant editors, coordinators, writers, composers, and a creative director. On big projects, sometimes up to six different companies could all be contracted to work on a film. Some features, we start with dailies, which are, you know, are the daily of footage that the filmmaker shoots. And since the movie is still being shot, some of this footage might never even appear in the actual movie. Sometimes we're working with things that don't end up in the f final feature and vice versa. It's not that we're trying to trick the viewer. It's more of like we're having to tell the story in two and a half minutes, not in three hours. There are usually restrictions on what can be revealed in a trailer. Oftentimes, there's a plan in place to gradually reveal plot points and characters through different campaigns. Like when it comes to high security movies like Marvel movies, you know, we, it's part of the creative directive of what we can show and what we can't show. With like movies like The Avengers and other like Marvel campaigns, there might be three or four trailer campaigns. And the whole process is on lockdown to prevent leaks. It's like um, Fort Knox. <laughs> There's cameras everywhere. There's like, you know, you can't have internet at your um, workstation for edit bays. Everything is a fireable offense. And they, they, MPAs put in a, a effect a very strict policy of how we handle materials. Star Wars, a billion years in the making, and it's coming to your galaxy this summer. Movie trailers have evolved a lot over the years. One trick that used to be very common is quick cuts. There was a time where quick cutting might represent a lot of energy and action. Now I think that a lot of people want to hear a story, want to know like, and see if the movie actually stands on its own. These days, you're likely to see more dialogue and plot details in a movie trailer. You've also probably noticed more teasers, which are basically a trailer to a trailer. Teasers tease the concept of a movie while showing very little footage. The social network had a great teaser. Um, Girl with a Dragon Tattoo had a great teaser. It was something that whetted the audience's appetite. Music is also key to a good trailer. He looks heroic, but he's kind of got a negative attitude. I think music and sound design is always important, and I think having it be more unique and special to a property is um, in vogue. Trailer Park has two internal composers who create music for the trailers. There's a trend now for like um, taking old cues and redoing them, um, and we do that a lot, um, and customize cues for, for trailers. There can be many different versions of a trailer before the final one is released. One trailer can go through hundreds of different versions of edits. We've had trailers go through past version like 200. Generally, it's the studio who gets the, the final sign off. And with so many people sharing these videos on social media, a trailer is crucial to a film's box office success. Really, the first time a studio and the world sees anything is, is through the trailer. And it's increasingly more important. And there's such a focus and such a um, magnifying glass to what we do. So some studios will focus group the trailers to make sure they work. If you see a trailer that goes out that is just makes a movie look questionable, it's deadly for the property to, to overcome that. It's a creative process, so sometimes the best ideas come in, you know, when you're taking a shower, you know, or um, driving. 